Hey there, today I am going to share how to pack medicines that are allowed in the Transportation Security Administration line. I will even teach you how to pack prescription medicines as well as some illegal substances for proper TSA screening. The short answer is that all medicines are allowed through TSA, but TSA has some packing requirements that are confusing to some of you. So I'm going to show you how to pack all those medicines for the TSA line. If you have medical accessories like a CPAP machine or a medical disability, I will touch on those near the end of the video. Since every passenger must be screened, you do have options. You are allowed to take any medicines through the TSA line in your personal item or your carry-on suitcase. Because of the transmissibility of COVID, TSA wants to protect their employees as well as you. Less contact could mean that you are protected from the virus. And since so many people travel with medication, TSA TSA does not want to pull out every passenger and inspect every bottle of medicine. So for years, you pulling out your medicines into the gray bin has been helpful to you as well as for the passengers behind you in line. To make the screening process even smoother for medicines, there are certain types of medicine that TSA wants to screen separately. They only want the liquid medicines pulled out separately from your bags. And by pulled out, I just mean they want them in the gray bin. I highly recommend that your liquid medicines be packed in their own clear bag for two reasons, to be sanitary and to not lose any of them. And to save any doubts or questions, I just say put it in a clear bag just for easier screening or a visual screening. The TSA website says that liquid medicines do not have to be in a zip top bag like I thought they did. I just think it's faster for you and less confusing. If your liquid medicines are larger than 3.4 ounces, they are still allowed in the TSA line. They are exempt from the 3.4 ounce liquid requirement. TSA just asks two things, that you declare that you have medicines and that you put them into the gray bin. And remember your liquid medicines can be in any size. If you're new here, say hey in the comments below and introduce yourself. I'm a pilot wife here in Houston and I YouTube travel tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. Click subscribe and that little bell so you never miss a video. So to make your life easier, you are going to have two bags of liquids when you go through the TSA line. The first bag is your normal liquids with all of the 3.4 ounce bottles or containers of like shampoo and toothpaste. And then your other bag, I suggest it be clear and be a bag, even though TSA says you don't have to put them in a bag, but to make your life easier, have that bag of liquid medicines in any size in that bag. And then you're gonna put them both in the gray bin to be screened through the line. One question I get asked is if you can put your medicines, your liquid medicines in your liquid bag. And I say yes, but because they are different container sizes, I just say to remove any confusion that the TSA officers may have, just put them all in a separate bag. Basically, they want all liquids in that gray bin so that they can electronically screen them or x-ray screen them and visually screen them if they need to. And TSA does claim that if they need to open the bottle for more screening, they are going to. But if you don't want them to, you need to speak to the officer about that. But they're not gonna open every bottle of medicine that they see. If you pack medical marijuana or CBD oil, some are allowed in certain amounts, but I don't understand all the wording for that. So I have a link for you. Basically, the TSA is not here to scan for illegal drugs. If they find an illegal substance in their screening process, like if they need to look at something more closely or visually look at something in the screening process and they find something illegal, they are supposed to contact a law enforcement officer that's there inside the airport. TSA is only to protect any threat against aviation or our passengers, not illegal drugs. TSA also does not check prescription labels for liquid medicines or dry solid medicines. They do ask that you declare your liquid medicines with the TSA officer before you get screened. And they ask if it's a liquid medicine that you put it in the gray bin. To save time, to save space, I would suggest packing those liquid medicines in a clear bag at home so that you don't have to worry about that when you get to the airport. So your vacation can go ahead and start before you even get to the airport. If you have over-the-counter pills or a prescription solid medicine, those can be packed in any container, packed in any bag, and they should stay inside your bags for security screening. Do not bring those pills out. 
I like my Happy Pills pill box. There's also another long envelope type of pill container that I have that have little bitty bags that I like also. But for a quick trip of just a few days worth, I just pack my meds, my dry meds in a little sandwich bag. Okay, here is the confusing part. I sent a question in for you to ask TSA on Facebook Messenger and they said that no, they do not check any prescription labels on medicines. You can also ask them a question on Twitter at AskTSA or you can call them on the number that's on their website. I called them this winter and they answered and really helped me. Here's the confusing part. One of my viewers said that she got nabbed last year in Alaska for carrying prescription pills outside of their container, their original container. And remember the TSA website says that pills can be in any container. They do not need to have their prescription label. They do not need to be in their original bottle. So when I got their message back saying that dry solid medicines could be anywhere in your suitcases, I sent them a screenshot of their website that says, but remember, be aware that some states will say that your prescription pills need to be in their original container. In Minnesota, for example, you cannot carry prescription medicines that are outside of their original containers. But in Florida, you can carry prescription pills outside of their original bottles with no labels needed. They responded to that screenshot and said that, yes, be aware that some pills in some states need to be carried in their original bottle. And if you want to know more, I suggest you contact the local police. So that makes me think that TSA is not in the business of checking for prescription pills. That um, maybe my viewer was in the wrong place or in, her, in public and not in the TSA line when the officers told her she couldn't carry them like that but TSA says that they are not the ones to check for that. But if you are going to a foreign country, I highly suggest Googling that country, that city where you're going to land and prescription medicines because some countries do have strict rules about carrying them outside of their original bottle. Okay, if you do have a medical condition or a disability, you do have options for the screening process. You can ask TSA a medical question, but remember they also have a whole area of pages that are dedicated to medical conditions and disabilities. On TSA.gov, you click on disabilities and medical conditions and you will see your options. You can fill out a form that you can give to a TSA officer. And this is mainly if you fly a lot, I think, or if you have a laundry list of of medicines that you're carrying or a lot of disabilities that may impact the screening process in the TSA line. This form will discreetly tell the TSA officer what you're going to be carrying that may impact that screening. Remember that you always have the right to ask for a private pat down. When we moved to Houston like five years ago, I requested a private security screening because we had our cat and I had to pull him out of his carrier. So it is no problem to ask for a private pat down. Flying Angels is an organization that helps passengers with disabilities fly more easily. They also have the form that you can fill out on their site, but what I think is interesting is if your family member needs a passenger to fly with them who is a nurse, they will provide that for you for a fee, I'm sure, but I never knew that. If you are flying with a medical accessory like a CPAP machine, those are allowed through the security and you can just keep them in their case, but put them in the gray bin. If you have insulin or syringes or other accessories, just declare them by putting them in the gray bin. I would keep all of your diabetic stuff in its case, um, just so it's in that gray bin and they don't have to go hunting for it if they see something that looks odd on the x-ray screen. Ice packs are allowed in a partially frozen condition or frozen. If they are all the way melted, they count as a liquid and won't be allowed. But just put those in the gray bin so there are no questions asked. If you have a medical accessory that's in your body or attached to your body, those can be screened in the most TSA lines. If they don't have the technology in that airport, they may want to see you separately or privately um, to look at it more. For more passenger support, you can call the TSA at their TSA CARES line or email them and I have that linked as well. The TSA officers are so much more understanding of medicines uh, over the last few years. It's gonna be so much easier than it used to be like 10 years ago. If you still have questions about traveling with medicines through the TSA line, remember that I do have links below in the description box for you. Okay, thanks again for your time and I'm sorry for all the disruptions with the announcements. <laughs>
See if it's going to make your Certain life easier. Have been implemented to ensure air transportation safety. <sighs> Please pay particular attention to your luggage and personal belongings. Remember that you can always request. The airport terminal buildings have been designated as non. If you have the never. The chapels are located in terminal C across mm -hmm. from gate 33A.